Well, hey there, folks. I'm in my F-150. As you can see, this is definitely the F-150. Here's my console laying over on its side here. I've been playing around with the antenna for a while. And basically, the, the stinger, the whip, I've been shaving off about two matchbook covers thickness at a time on my bench grinder over and over until I get it, you know, right where it needs to be. I think I could get it a little bit better right in the middle of the band, but um, it, it's so good now that I, I don't think it's worth it to, to mess with it anymore. I think this will be fine. So here it is right at 27.205 here. 1.13. You can see 24, 25 dB gain. The X factor, I mean, we, we still got, you know, 5.7 there. It started off around 13 or 14. So, um, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think that's fine at 27.205. Um, if we start going down, like here, here's channel 19. We're at a 1.1. I could trim a little more off. And get it better right in the middle of the band. As you can see, I'm going down. Look, look at the SWR dropping. I think we can, there. It's going to start going up. So that's as perfect as we're going to get right there. A 1.01 .01 at damn near 50 ohms, 50.6. See that X really goes down to almost nothing. 43 dB. But it's still so, I don't know, I just don't want to mess with it anymore. I don't want to, I could probably get it perfect, man, but I think it's good. Um, if we go here to the SWR chart. I mean, at 27.205 there in the middle, we've got a 1.13. You can see minimum 1.8, it says, at 27.005. So, but you can see, there's where it's minimum right there. Slide over 1, 1.32, slide up 1, 1.13, 1.36. Um, I know I could trim a tiny bit more off and probably get it perfect. You know what? I probably will. I'll probably trim just a tiny bit more off. Yeah, you know what? Stand by. I'm going to trim a tiny bit more off, see if we can't get it down just a little bit more. All right, I'm back. I took a little more off. I haven't even checked yet. We're going to look at it together. So there you go. I got it down a little more. 1.9, 27 dB gain, 49. I mean, look at those ohms. That's pretty dang good. So if we, let's see where it's perfect at here. It's going to start going up. Jeez, that's a 46. I mean, here's, here's channel 19 right there. I could work on it a little more. I'm going to leave it alone. I think this is good. Go back to the SWR chart here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call this good, guys. You can, I just um, really don't want to take any more length off that antenna. So here's a 27205. We'll go down here. You know, it depends what channel you're going to talk on to. 
but I, I always try to go right for the middle of the band. So, so that, that's where I'm usually at right there. We're going to call it good. All right. That's the, uh, that's what the, uh, Oh, the Stryker SRE A10 antenna mounts it through the roof with a, a Wilson 5000 mount and coax. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I might play with it a little more. I might try to get it perfect, but uh, I, I can live with this. I think this is good. You know what? Stand by. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this box all back, and I'm going to check it on the SWR meter compared to this. Stand by. All right, so all I can tell you is the numbers on this and the numbers on this don't jive. I originally set this up by the SWR meter, not by the analyzer. And I just want you guys to see I'm seeing totally different on here. I'm going to turn the mic gain all the way down. We got an SWR set. I'm going to go ahead and do it on channel. Well, let's just go at channel 20. Okay, that's right where it needs to be. Put this on SWR. We're seeing a 1.25. We look on the radio. We're seeing like a 1.1. Okay. If I go to channel one, channel one. Go ahead and get it calibrated there, which looks good to me. Put it on this WR. Now we're seeing almost a 1.4 on channel 1. We're still seeing like a 1.1 on the radio. Don't know what's going on. Go to channel, channel 40, go back to SWR set, there you go, SWR, we're seeing a 1.2 on 40 and almost a 1.4 on 1 it showed. Let's look on the radio. So it shows that we're seeing less on 40 than we were one. On the radio, it shows two bars. On this, it shows half as much. You know, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe your radio, the SWR meter, or the analyzer? You know, and I've always thought these are good to use as a tool. And then use your SWR meter to finish stuff up. I'll tell you this. You guys probably know from watching the videos. When I would key up with the amp on, I'd probably see a 1.5, a 1.6 coming back on the striker. Now that I've tuned everything to that meter, I actually see more on the striker when I key. And I'll show you that. Let me turn the mic gain back up here. Let's go to channel, channel 20. We're showing a 1.4 on there during key up. Hello. And it's shooting way up there now. Before it only go up to a 1.516 since I used this to adjust the antenna. So what's really going on here? Let's look at the reverse on the meter here. 30 watt scale. Hello. Hello. Audio 111. Hello. With the amp on, that's showing under a watt. Hello. Audio. What do you believe? They're all tools. Which tool do you believe? You know? 
According to this, everything's almost perfect. Um, it, it's it's just one of those things, you know. What do you believe? But um, you know, if I were to use this meter, which I don't see why it wouldn't be correct. If I got a 1.2 on one channel and a 1.4 on another channel, before I use this meter, I had this adjusted perfectly. Where channel 20 was the absolute lowest, channel 140 barely went up any. Just one of those things. Um, you know, I trusted this in the expedition, and the expedition's kicking butt. I think I'm going to trust it in here, too. And um, that's all we can really do. All right. Hope it's been a good video for y'all. Leave any comments if you want. Thanks. Take care.